Hello, hi, and welcome to today's video. You might see something different. It is summertime, so I got to the hairdresser. I finally got an appointment. I have my sunshades on. I even shaved a little bit uh, because it's summer outside. Yay. <laughs> Good. Today's topic, um, we're going to talk about a slide in Windows. Very quick, very easy topic. Uh, it's basically this. Like, if you see the video right now, then I could just, like, slide in, like, brrrp automatically and slide out also automatically or using a button press very very easily right on hmis therefore i am creating right now a new hmi just add new device hmi i'm taking tp700 comfort because that is just my favorite hmi adding this of course this is comfort panels um, as always basic panels do not support a lot of features so in here i have already talked about some um uh some screen management components on my channel check out the other videos there's a playlist on hmis uh, we have talked already about templates pop-ups global screens permanent areas and the last component here is the slide and screens very easy topic actually um so let's do this you can just activate them a slide in window a slide in screen if i just open up the slide and screen from the bottom um you see there we go uh you can you have to have a minimum size i think dp700 is the minimum size uh, that can support slide and screens if you just have a very small screen there's no slide and screens possible just by the way um what is a slide in exactly you see this lower area right here this lower area is gonna be a slide in on every single screen that you have on your hmi like if you have machine one machine two uh manual or automatic mode stuff like this every screen that you have will have this available if you activate it of course um, and it is a little a little special area down here if, if you use the slide in screen bottom left is this one right is this one and top is this one of course <laughs> that's pretty easy let's use the bottom one um yeah you can put everything that you want on there i will just put in a text uh, text a simple text it could be a push button like emergency stop or warnings or login or could be anything i'm just gonna put a text here as example this is hello from the bottom side hello from the bottom side um, i'm just gonna bump that up a bit make that big and now it's sitting here right <clears throat> As I said, there could be push buttons, there could be anything in there. So I've made this screen. If I start the simulation now, the HMI, um, you will see it's not available. It's not here anywhere, right? It's just not there. That is because we still have to define, hey, which one is active um, and which one is available. So the bottom one, I will have to go to properties when the screen is open right now properties and when nothing is selected like if i select the text we are configuring the text make sure that you have nothing selected just click anywhere on the slide and screen you see a little frame goes around the slide and screen as soon as i select it and you can also see slide and screen bottom selected we can change the size of it here a little bit so i can make it a little bit smaller if i want to um, but more importantly under general we can change the background color. That's something that you should usually do so that you can see which one is exactly the slide and screen. Um, I'll take this color. Um, and then we have to also enable it. If I click on enable right here, that means we only activated the bottom one. So if I now start my simulation, you will see that nothing has changed, I think. Yeah, nothing has changed. Why is it not active? Um, it is only active if you click here on the bottom because it's the bottom screen. So I click on the bottom and then there's a handle. I click on the handle and my pop-up screen shows up. Uh, my slide and screen shows up. I click again, it's gone, right? Very convenient with this handle here. We can have some adjustments to the handle itself um, because right now it automatically shows up. I don't like that. Like with the taskbar, um, I hope this doesn't mess up everything. No, it doesn't. Like this taskbar that I just have here from Windows, right? That also, there's this automatic slide-in mode that I hate. Like the taskbar is never there. And if you go there with your cursor, it automatically shows up. That's the standard setting. Right? This automatic mode is the standard setting. And of course, we can change that. Going back to the screen, going back to properties. And there is the handle. Right? There is the handle. And here we have the visibility. 
right? The visibility, and here you see it hi uh, height handle automatically. So it doesn't, you, do, you don't see it unless you click, blip, and then it's there. Um, if you want to show the handle, always just click always showing the handle. So now it will always be there indicating, hey, we have a slide and screen available, right? So it won't go away. Of course, that's not recommended with small screens than you have. Like if you use a slide in screen on every side, you just have all the screen is full with those handles. That is pretty inconvenient. Um, and we can also go and never show the handle. That might even be the best solution depending on um, what you do. Then you can't open it <laughs> anymore. Right. Then you can't open it anymore. But why is that the best solution? Um, because it's not annoying. You can't do it by accident and you can just on the screen. Now it is not available on every screen. You just go to your screen where you want to make it available. I will only make it available on my screen one because I only have one and I will put a push button. Right. Just a simple push button here that is slide and screen bottom. Right. And if I press this button, the slide and screen here on the bottom should show up. I could have one here on the left side, for example. We just have to assign the event to it. So I'll go to properties when on the push button, events when it is clicked. And then we go to screens. And there is show slide in screen. Then we need the screen name. I, can I just drag and drop? I don't know. Yeah, I can just drag and drop from the list. Or we could have just gone here and just selected it. Good. And then we have the mode toggle. So if I press it once, it will show up. If I press it again, it will go away. I could also turn it on and off. You could have two separate buttons. Um, yeah. So let's do this. Let's go here. I press the button and now I'm sliding in the screen by using this button. This could, for example, be like down here in this area, we could have warnings and this button should could be show warnings stuff like this. So the possibilities are very, very endless, actually. Um, then one last thing that you have to um, that you have to pay attention if you want, for example, now I want also slide in top, right? I want one button for the top one for the bottom. And now for the top one, I also want to select the of course, the top slide in screen. And it's gonna give me an error. It's going to say the specified slide in screen is not activated. Well, of course, we cannot use the slide in screen if we did not enable it. So I have to go to the screen itself, properties, general and enable it. And now the error is gone and it will perfect work perfectly. Right. Events, it's not red anymore. Of course, if I now want to also use this screen for whatever, there is a gauge or something. There we go. Boop whatever you want to put there. Um, of course, I will need to select the screen again, I can change the handle never show it because I have the push button. Um, or you can hide it automatically, or we can always show it. doesn't matter. That's really up to you. I'll do it automatically. So I can click there or I can click the button. So now I can click on top here, top one will show up. If I click anywhere else, the top one will go away. You don't have to click on the handle, right? Here's the bottom one. And there we go. I can actually press down here. I was wondering why it didn't work earlier. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That's strange. Always use the button then. <laughs> yeah. So that's the basics of slide and screens. They are very simple, very easy to use, um, but they are very useful. If you have multiple screens, right? If you have multiple screens, they are just available. You see it here when I created the screen. They are available on every screen. Of course, you could make the data in there depending on the screen, stuff like that always possible, but that is a little bit more complicated. We were just talking about how to set it up here very quick, very easy, very dirty, uh, not so dirty, but very quick, very easy. Um, yeah. If this, uh, don't forget to check out my channel. I, sh I should say that more often there are many playlists on my channel uh, that have to do with Tia. Now it's more than 100 videos probably. Um, check out the links in the description below. There are two links. One of those links leads to um, 
a campaign that I have started. So if you want to toss some coin in my direction, there we go. Use the link in the description below. Go fund me. Uh, thank you, Pridivirayan. I can't pronounce it. Thanks, Anonymous10. Uh, thanks, Christopher. Thanks, Ayan. Um, yeah. The second link that you will find in the description below is actually a forum. There we go. A forum where you can ask your everyone that's here basically uh, on topics. You see it's growing a thousand clicks on that one topic there already. Awesome. Good. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to check out my channel for this huge for those many playlists. Um, don't forget to talk about my channel. Tell your friends we need to grow more. And don't forget to stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you the next time around. Bye-bye and have a nice day.